Hello everyone. I would like to welcome you all in my class of CIS 2168 Data Driven Design. This is part 3D of Temporal Analysis and the focus of this session is on a Python program. I am Dr. Harimun Pandey from the Department of Computer Science and my email ID is given here. The agenda of this session is what we want to do, we want to work on a Python program and why we are doing this because we want to understand temporal aspects to analyze a analyze a web log data then we will see the working of data frame with the help of this program for creating the plot for plot creation then you will see some plot functions supported by python and lastly you will see how you can save plots for future use so we are going to discuss these things in this session so as far as the plot is concerned python supports packages some of the notable packages are for example uh, i have given here uh, is a c board we have already used this in week number two uh, b is uh, mat plot dot lib c is plotting so we'll use some of these packages in our python program so the program is given on the next slide i have given the name for this program as temporal analysis dot .py. in week number two you implemented a program page hit analysis dot py and majority of code which is given here in this file is almost same what you implemented in week number two and the goal of this program so we need to understand the goal of this program the goal of this program is to look at the analysis of temporal aspects of a web log data so what we want to do we want to see the temporal aspects of a web log data so here the term temporal aspects indicates the information related to day time year month and so on so something related to time in this particular program what we want to do we want to work with day and time and we we want to uh, see that there is a visitor and this visitor is using a website w so we want to see and the whenever the this visitor v is visiting the website w this information is getting stored in a web log file and we want to see on which day of the month this visitor is using the website and then we want to see the time of the day when the visitor is using the website so this is the goal of this program so in order to achieve this goal i have given this program so we'll start right from the beginning to understand uh, this python programming code for temporal analysis so in the beginning you can see from line number two line number two to line number five what we are doing we are simply importing packages in the program 
then you can see here matplot is used seaborn is used panda is used for data frame which we are going to use so you need to import these packages for because we want to use functionalities and these the, the functionalities are given in the packages so you need to import the packages in the program next we will see line number 7 this line is for parser we discussed parser in week number 2 what parser does it <coughs> breaks the, the, the parsing parser um, split uh, data large data split large data data in small chunks of data and this data this small chunks of data will be in a specific format and you need to tell to python that we want uh, data in any specific format and you can see here i have as i have created some specific format using percentage percent l percent u percent t like so i'm i'm creating my data in a specific format using these things format we are creating then the next line is this line number nine and if you will compare your this program with the program you implemented in week number two then here what you did in previous program you simply created a data is equal to this so this data was your variable and this variable was a list variable and in the beginning it is empty. This is what you did in previous program. So why you created just a list? Because in that program, the aim was to just understand page hit analysis. And you collected the detail about the page in this list. So that is why you created just a list. In this program, what we want to do, we want to analyze temporal aspects and as i said temporal aspects means we want to see the information of day of the month and time of the day for temporal analysis so that is why we have created a variable data <coughs> and something is given in the curly bracket and what is this something something is my day and time and these two are the array and since this is given in the curly bracket, so this data will be my dictionary. And this dictionary has two values. This is key 1 and this value is called as key 2. So what a dictionary will do? Dictionary is nothing but we use dictionary basically for mapping from key to value so that is why we use dictionary so here this dictionary that is data dictionary has two keys key number one is day and key number two is time so we have two keys in this dictionary data dictionary next We'll see why we have created two keys. The reason is we have two key um, in the list, and the, the reason of doing this is here we are dealing with more complex data, log data. In the previous program, as I said, we had just list because we are interested in storing the information about the page which is more popular and using the hit we analyze the popularity of any particular page that is why we use just a list variable and here we are going to deal with um, day and time so we need uh, a dictionary so that we can store uh, different values 
So now what uh, is given next uh, at line number 12 to line number 14 if you see this is what you did what you um, implemented in your previous program in week number 2. So this open function using this open function what we are doing we are simply opening this access dot log file and then we are implementing a for loop to, ex uh, to, to access the um, entries line by line using this uh, loop variable and then we are use we are we are using parser to split the entries and then we are storing it in this variable line now the important thing is <coughs> given at line number 16 and 17 and what is the important thing so here uh, you can see the first thing which uh, we see here is the line variable so you can see line is given here line variable is given here and this line variable is a type of dictionary so this is my dictionary and i'm using it here so in the line dictionary there is key and the key is time received underscore tz underscore date time object similarly here time received uh, tz date time object so what these two lines are doing uh, these two lines uh, are using a date time object and this date time object in both the line has a number of attributes like uh, you can retrieve information related to year you can get information related to month uh, month day hour or minutes and seconds so this date time object will give you information of year month day uh, hour minutes and second so we are basically collecting the information in this dictionary data day for the day data day in line number 16 for day and data and data time for time in line number 17 uh, you can see hour and minutes are given because it is related to time in line number 18 what we are doing we are simply using a print statement to print the day so if you will run the, your program at this stage what will happen it will display list of days now after this what you can see uh, to start plotting um, to start for, for creating the plots which plot functions are given uh, here for strip plot for strip plot for this is for day for time and for violin plot so in order to create the um, plots what you have to do you have to convert your data in the form of data frame so here at line number 20 what we are doing we are using a data frame and uh, what this this line is doing basically using the data frame what we are doing we are transferring transfer we we, we transform our data this data variable from this dictionary from dictionary into data frame so data frame will convert your data in the form of table and then we are using this data for plotting the day we are using this data for plotting the time we are using this data for plotting the time for while and plot and then we are creating the categories this you will implement during the tutorial session so here you can see you used we use strip plot from seaborn lab package we use again a strip plot from seaborn package and then we are creating a violin plot so all in all we are creating three plots and then using this line this line and this line we are saving the plot so first